Hey friends, David Shirey, author of the soon-to-be-released book, Rare Confidence. Look for it this fall on Amazon.com. Coming to you today outside from the worldwide headquarters on a Friday morning as we head into a 4th of July weekend to celebrate the birth of this great nation of ours. I've been promising you to answer some of your viewer mail, and that's what we're going to do today. But before we do, i got to thank each and every one of you who is watching this video right now. Over the past several weeks, several thousand of you have tuned in to watch these videos, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate you tuning in. Question number one today comes from Paige M. of Columbus, Ohio. And Paige asks, David, what's Rare Confidence the book all about? Paige, I am so glad you asked. The number one thing that I wanted to get across in Rare Confidence is that just like if you build a new house, you need a strong foundation, your belief system, your self-esteem system needs a foundation. And Rare Confidence gives you four steps for anybody that starts with any level of confidence to take it to the stratosphere. Four critical steps. That's the main point in the book. We also have a chapter on are you born with or are you learn or is confidence a learned um, trait? There's a chapter on treating the janitor like the CEO and the CEO like the janitor, sort of. Be careful there. We have a chapter on what can the sports world teach us about confidence. Um, I've also interviewed some incredible people for the book. One of them is Adele Anwar. He's the Guinness Book of World Records holder for human memory. And he talks about the role that confidence plays in those endeavors. I've also interviewed Tristan Truscott, who is a martial arts uh, master extraordinaire, and he talks a little bit about the parallels between what happens in the martial arts world in terms of confidence and how that translates to daily living. Much, much more in the book in terms of, of how you can be a more confident individual, stories of heroic confidence and courage, trust me. This isn't War and Peace. It's not for Mensa members. It's for anybody whose confidence level is here and they want to take it up there. Question number two comes from David K. of Pittsburgh, PA. And he asks, David, are you always this chipper? Hell yeah, I'm always this chipper. You know, if you think you can or think you can't, you're still right. And I think I can and I think you can. And whether you're coaching Little League or you're in big business, you've got to instill in your team that belief system. And, uh, you know, hey, life is short. Why focus on the negative, right? We're only around this way one time. I'm always this chipper. Question number three comes from a Mr. Richard F. of Elizabeth, New Jersey. And Richard wants to know, David, what's the coaching part of your business? Well, just like athletes use coaches and a lot of people have personal trainers, I coach people who want to achieve their goals and want to get there in a more systematic manner, and want somebody who's going to hold them accountable and show them tough love. And if you're out there watching this right now and you haven't achieved all of your goals or there's things that you want to accomplish and you don't know how to get there, give me a call. Maybe together we'll help you do that. Hey, listen, thanks again for tuning in. Um, you've helped make this a huge success, these videos. As we head into the 4th of July weekend, let's celebrate our country's independence, and let's make the second half of 2011 your best year ever. Until next time, David Shirey. We'll talk again real soon. Oh,